The Spirit was a newspaper strip created by Will Eisner, which was later also made into comics published by EC Comics and later on DC Comics. It's a fun sort of pulp crime story about a police officer named Denny Colt who has a near-death experience and decides to fight crime as a masked mystery man called the Spirit. He works outside the law, but works closely with the police department. Essentially, they call him to do things that they can't. The Spirit is known for being very light-hearted and fun, having loads of beautiful women throwing themselves at Denny, and for its colorful mix of villains. Essentially, it's the superhero version of Dick Tracy. The movie? Well, it proves that Frank Miller is an asshole. Frank Miller has been pissing away all the respect that he gained in the 80s and 90s for quite some time now. Now, Sin City was a great film based on his comics, and I love the whole visual look of it, because it worked really well for Sin City. And I love that Frank Miller had such an active hand in Sin City, because it showed that the movie would respect the source material if the source material's creator was involved in the movie. However, as much as Sin City's visual style worked for that movie, that same visual style does not work at all for the spirit which looks like the discount version of Sin City. And as for Frank Miller being involved, why? Why is he involved? He clearly doesn't respect the character or the mythos. He's not known for writing the spirit. He leaves out characters that he didn't like, and he basically turns the spirit into something that is one part a ripoff of Sin City and one part a spoof of it. The film is overly serious, but it's also trying to be funny. Does this make sense? Of course not. But that's the insanity that is this movie. One big problem that I have with the film is the main villain, the octopus. The octopus in the comics was someone you never actually saw, and the spirit never actually interacted with him. He was like, uh, like Dr. Claw. You never saw his face. In this, he's Samuel L. Jackson making egg puns. You figure he'd make octopus puns, but no. Also, the spirit has superpowers in this. He's able to withstand any amount of injury, like he's Wolverine or the Crow. It hurts like hell to get beaten up, stabbed, and shot, but he can't die. The octopus is given similar powers, and it turns out there's a connection to the two. The actual plot is so stupid that despite the fact that I only watched the movie a few days ago, I can't remember too much of the actual plot, only that the octopus seemingly enjoys beating up the spirit, and that he's looking for an artifact that can recreate the process that gave him and the spirit their powers. This one is just bad on every level. The looks of the film don't suit the characters, the dialogue is ridiculous, None of the actors are on the same page, and it's possibly the most disrespectful to its source material comic book adaptation since Batman and Robin. Avoid this one at all costs, it has no redeeming qualities, and I'm going to give it a 1 out of 10.